You know that thing you do when you must really do something is very important, but you're like, I'll do it later. You know what? Monday looks like a good day to do it. Uh, next week. You know what? Let's just push it for next month. You're procrastinating. Let's talk. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, click subscribe. It's, it's free. Like no one is actually gonna either beat you or charge you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and share with friends. Click like and if there's any content that resonates, share, share, share as much. Today I want to talk about something that I have suffered from because like many things that I bring to you here, I have to first heal myself before I bring them. Procrastination. First of all, if you know that you have sat in the world of procrastination for so long, cario. <laughs> anyway, so I, I, for me, I, after I reflected, I realized why I used to procrastinate. The biggest reason was overwhelm, okay? And the other day I was on Instagram asking people, like, how do you deal with overwhelm? And I was saying sometimes you cry, you read a book, you do what, what. I was like, I like to get to the root cause of things. So if you, at any one point or even today, you're watching this video because you procrastinated to do your work and you're like let me just be chilling on youtube for a bit before i go back to work hey, this is for you so for so long i i've always felt like i'm running after time like at no point can i do anything on time and have everything done on time and you know how in school you'd know the school year you'd know when to put back your uh when to put in your work your assignments like everything was on a timeline and those there are those kids who close to the deadline hey they're running everywhere getting every sort of research what before you what did you write oh my god that was me i always felt like i have a lot of time so i, I think about a couple of weeks ago i listened to a youtube channel or is it a podcast when i find it you know i'll share and they're talking about how to procrastinate is to be is to be self-centered like you always believe you have time like why do you think for you you're too special but you have time and you can waste your time plus the next person's time okay because what happens to procrastinators i'm supposed to call joel i'm supposed to call andrew i'm supposed to call winnie i won't do it because i'm like they can wait <laughs> I'll call them tomorrow, but perhaps it's urgent for them and you've not respected their time as well So for me, I always felt like that's time and it's running and I'm running and I'm clearly not chapter gay <laughs> So I decided to sit down and say it stops right here. I'm not achieving anything. I'm not doing anything I need to change. So how did I even figure out procrastination and what am I doing? because I still procrastinate a bit, that is helping me fix this. The first thing I eliminated is going with the flow. You know the thing where you're like, you know what, this day is too stressful, I'll just go with the flow. Or I'm learning this job, I'll just go with the flow. Or in this relationship, I'll just go with the flow. That's one of the reasons I was procrastinating a lot because I'd be waiting for the flow to flow in my direction and ask me to do the work. <laughs> you know? I'll be like, eh, well, it's the universe, God will tell me when I need to do this right now. Really? So I plan, and probably one person who's really helped me in this journey is Manuela Molondo. I don't tire to speak well of my dear friend there. She told me, like, when you don't plan, what you're doing is that thing of flow, and flow is not respectful, okay? Because it will hammer you. You'll blink and you won't even have achieved two, three things, right? So going with the flow for me didn't work, and this is how I plan. I don't plan like Manuela. Manuela plans the entire year. Don't have the energy or the brains to do that thing. What I do is that I plan at least a week. So I sit down, for example, my EA, my executive assistant, and we say on Friday, what does next week look like? Content-wise, what do we need to record? What do we need to write? What posters need to come out? Uh, who's doing the posters? Who needs to be booked? Which event am I doing? Who needs to be spoken to? Which Zoom meeting? The whole lot. And by the time I enter Friday properly, I already have my week, okay? Like, not to the T because certain things happen, certain things change, a meeting can be pushed. Uh, anything can happen within those, but at least for the bigger part, I know how my week will go. So the flow I am going with is my flow that I've created. So even if I get to Tuesday, and for example, there's a dry run for maybe a standing Twitter space that has been moved, it's okay. 
then I get a chance to move something else into that space. But at least I was ready for it. Not for it to happen, and I put three other things because I'm going with the flow. Now I'm late for the Zoom meeting, but I'm the one presenting. Then I'm now on, I have anxiety, and then I, I don't know what to present because I didn't prepare. Cause That's not for us. It's not for you, it's not for me. Please, we're going to be prepared. So if you can, take it from me. Don't plan a year, don't plan two months, three months, if you can't, but plan your week. I do mine on Friday, you can just do yours on a Sunday, on a Saturday. Just say, what are the things that I need to absolutely achieve in my week? Write those. So you're not necessarily writing, I will eat at 5 p.m., then I'll breathe at 7. No. But for me, like, I know the most important things for me. Outside of myself, which is then I choose to sleep well, to eat well, to do also for me. I then put my husband and my son, what kind of quality time will they need, I schedule that. I'll then, okay, the home needs me to do this, the business, the work. Once I finish those, miscellaneous. I want to have a drink, can we catch wine? Those things, you are miscellaneous. Friends, <laughs> that's just how life is. So if you want to beat procrastination, do not go with the flow, plan. The second reason I was actually procrastinating is my ego. Now, this is how it plans out. You know, when you, you, you have an ego towards things, you feel like you're good. So if you do last minute, especially the kids used, and I was that person, in school where you see an assignment, a teacher has read an assignment, and you're like, so easy, in like two hours, I can finish that assignment. So you know what you do? Your ego tells you, because you think it's so easy, don't do it now. Do it last minute when you only have like 30 minutes, because you'll still excel at it. And this is where I've told you before, this is where it hurts you. When the kids you didn't think are that smart are going to win, and you're like, but Flavia, Hold yourself accountable. How did you not pass it? Now it comes to our adulthood, where you know you're good at something, people trust that you're good at something, but your ego told you it's too simple to be taking two hours out of my day to do. I'll do it in 30 minutes. Your ego tells you, you don't have to do it today. Hold that off when you've just woken up like on a Monday morning. Your ego tells you, this one, you don't have to call them, you can think for them. They're not smarter than you. Your ego tells them, you can take on five clients, you can do it. Your ego will push you to do the wrong things. And then when it will leave you in your mixes, because you'll have so much on your plate, it will look at you like, me, I was just suggesting. <laughs> That's how the ego is. So the ego is always pushing you in the wrong directions, friends, and that was my problem. So here's what I do. I learned to say no. I've told you about that, right? I learned to say no to some things in the day, even when they sound nice. I'm like, okay, that sounds like I could do it easily, but looking at the time, I won't find the easy time for it, so no. But I always give for a chance. If you can wait till tomorrow afternoon, I'm open to it. But don't make it look like you can do it right now and then not do it, okay? The third thing that I've applied for procrastination is to do things right now and that minute. So I actually call it right time, right place, right action, yes. So here's what happens. Let's say I'm sitting here and we're discussing to, to do work, right? And my ear, she's called Winnie, you'll hear her name a lot. She tells you, um, we forgot to call the guy who has the equipment. Okay. Oh, we also forgot to book the meeting. We forgot to ask um, Andrew what time he'll be available on Monday. Now that's simple. You can actually call someone and ask them when they'll be available on Monday, right? So why write it? Ah, let me ask you. Why are you writing to call? You call. Grab the phone. Hi. Just checking. What, day is, what time is good for you on a Monday? 5 p.m.? Great. All right, see you then. Finished. But you have to write it on your to-do list. Calling someone. And then you wonder, oh, I have such a long to-do list, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right time, right place, right activity. Do it. Do it this moment. There are some things you can actually do that don't need to be scheduled. Okay, I want to call my mom. And you're scheduling that. If you have time to schedule, you have time to call. How are you? Checking on you. I don't have that much time, but I don't know. How are you doing? I'm fine. Fantastic. Kale, love you. Bye. It's our anniversary to book a restaurant. <laughs> you know the man behind the camera is judging me for this example. You're like, I'll book next week. Why are you booking next week? Call. Hello? Table for two? Yes. Friday evening. Thank you. But you want to write that on a to-do list. Do things right now. Right time, right place, right action. This instant. And you'll find that procrastination happens to you less and less and less and less. Okay? I have a recommendation. Like I've told you, every single vlog will end with a recommendation. I'm so excited about this because I've been reading this book 
I think since last year. I every time I finish it, I give myself about a month and I read it. If anyone knows me personally, you know. If you're ever in a place in life where you're like stuck, you don't know how to start uh, changing your life, resetting. This is the one book I recommend. This is the one book I always send all my friends. I have it in PDF, I have it in every form. I send it to my friends. Now, I'm not gonna send it to you, <laughs> but I'm gonna suggest it so you can look for it and. Let me tell you, you will come back and tell me how it's changed your life. It's by James Clear. It's called Atomic Habits. <gasps> this book, listen, if you procrastinate from January to December, this book will save your life. So find it. Atomic Habits by James Clear is my recommendation for today. Be safe. Bye.